OK, so for this question then, we've got to solve this trigonometric equation. 4 sine x equals sec x. And x is measured in radians. We've got to give it in this range here, where it's greater than or equal to 0, but less than pi upon 2 radians. So what would we do? Well, I'm going to take that equation, and we've got to get it into the same trigonometric function. So I'm going to change sec x to 1 over cosine x. OK, you should be familiar with that result. And then going to multiply both sides by cosine x. That's going to lead to 4 sine x cosine x equals 1. And then I can see that the identity 2 sine x cosine x is basically in here. You should remember that 2 sine x cosine x is the same as sine 2x. So by changing this to 2 multiplied by 2 sine x cosine x equals 1, I can now pick up on that idea that this is sine 2x. All right. So if we do that, we now achieve our one trigonometric function, sine 2x. And so I can divide both sides by 2, giving me sine 2x equals a half. And to get 2x, I just need to take the inverse sine of both sides, leading to 2x equaling the inverse sine of a half. And this should be very recognisable, certainly in degrees, as being 30 degrees. But we've got to work in radians, so therefore 2x would be the equivalent of 30 degrees in radians. That would be pi upon 6, OK? Pi upon 6 radians. Now, at this point, I'd want to try and figure out what the other answers are by drawing a quadrant diagram, OK? So we'll just put our quadrant diagram in here. This will be 0 radians. The equivalent to 90 degrees would be pi upon 2 radians. But we're doubling our value for x here. So if I was to double the values of x, we've got a new range. I'll just put this in here. A new range which is going to be doubling all of these values here. Doubling 0 is 0, but doubling x becomes 2x, and doubling pi upon 2 becomes pi. Now we know that sine is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So if I was to draw two lines equally inclined then to this horizontal line, marking those angles in the usual way, then we're looking at two answers in this range for 2x. The first one is going to be this one here. This is a possible 2x. And the other one, starting from here, going anti-clockwise, passes the pi upon 2 there and goes to there. This is a 2x, OK, which is less than pi radians. Remember, pi radians would be to this part here. So we have got that 2x equals pi upon 6. I'll just mark it in here again. 2x equals pi upon 6. That's one solution. That's that red one. And as for the green one, well, that's going to be pi radians right the way around to there minus this angle in here, which I failed to put in, OK, is the pi upon 6. So we've got pi radians minus the pi upon 6. If you do that, you should find you get 5 pi upon 6 radians. And that's the green value for 2x, OK? Now, all I need to do is divide both sides by 2 to get x. Halving pi upon 6 is pi upon 12, and halving 5 pi upon 6 is 5 pi upon 12. OK, radians. And there's our two solutions. So I hope you're able to follow that one through. And if you can, it'd be great to uh, have you subscribe to my channel. You'll get updates, regular updates, of when I produce new videos. And uh, got to be a good thing, surely. OK, so uh, thanks for listening. Chat to you later.